What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and this is the Honeycomb Skin by Slick Wraps. So if you haven't noticed by now, I'm a huge fan of skins for my devices. So when I saw my Twitter feed one day that Slick Wraps came out with this new honeycomb skin, I had to get my hands on it. I picked one up from my iPhone 7 Plus in the black color, but they have this wrap in gold, silver, and a pretty sick blue variation. It just came in the mail, so I thought I'd do a quick review of it as I get the skin on my phone. Now right out of the box, this is definitely one of the most unique skins I've ever seen. It has this ultra modern look to it, something you'd see on futuristic body armor or something. And in a weird way, it also resembles the skin on some sort of reptile or fish. Either way, the honeycomb design is so different than anything else I've ever tried in the past, and Slick Wraps did something really clever with this skin. The individual hexagons have this textured lining inside them, and the direction of the lines are different for each honeycomb. In addition, some of the hexagons are shaded darker than the others. Now what this does, it makes the skin really pop and almost looks like it's shimmering when you're moving it around, a really cool look that I couldn't wait to get on my phone. Now quick disclaimer, I suck at installing these skins so please do not use the footage I have here to install your own if you have one. I'll leave a link to Slick Wrap's installation video in the description below. Now that being said, the first thing I did was I cleaned up the back of my phone the best I could using the microfiber cloth Slick Wraps includes in the package. I lined up the speaker holes on the bottom of the phone, for which I lined up the Apple logo and the camera. Once all those areas were lined up, I started pressing down the skin to the back of the phone. One thing to keep in mind, do your best to apply the skin in smooth strokes. I ran into some air bubbles, but fortunately I was able to press them out, but if you do run into any air bubbles, do your best to squeeze them out before applying the sides, as it's infinitely harder to do so once the sides have been pressed down. From there, I took up my blow dryer and per the recommendation on Slick Rep's video, I grabbed a soft padded material to press down the sides. Once I heated up the sides, I rolled the wrap onto the side of the phone using the laptop cover, which surprisingly worked really well, way better than me trying to go over it with my fingers. The cutouts for the power button, the volume rocker, and silent switch were all super precise, and I didn't run into any snagging at all when rolling the sides of the wrap onto the phone. I took the blow dryer and heated up the area around the camera a bit to press down the area around the camera hump, which made it a lot easier to apply. The corners are always tricky for me. I've watched this part of the installation too many times, and I couldn't film it because it required my full attention in order for me to do it right. A few moments later. And this is what it looks like fully installed. Honestly, Slick Wraps makes these skins pretty easy to install. I'm getting better and better at it. So with the skin fully on, I think it looks pretty sick. One thing I noticed right away is that this is by and far the grippiest and most textured skin I've ever had. The lining around the honeycomb shapes really adds a nice feeling in the hand. And though it's not grippy like a rubber case, it's way less slippery than other skins and way better than having the phone completely naked. The sides were perfectly in place and I even got the wrap around the camera hump pretty well without any problems or gaping air bubbles. Now I love the black but I am curious to see how the blue one would look which probably means I'll be getting another one, so let me know in the comments section which colors you guys are most interested in. And if you guys are looking to pick up any skins for yourselves from Slick Wraps, use the JSL code on the screen or the link in the description below and you'll get $5 off your order. That's about it for this review, a short one today, but hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did, and let me know in the comments section what other wraps or skins you guys want me to review. Any specific ones you have in mind? And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and to turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.